see those people smiling <laughs> you think they're feeling you but come <laughs> on as in that's into the pain <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're just joining for the first time i'm aisha and i make youtube videos and life in the uk as an international fashion student i'm no more a student so i graduated in december yeah <laughs> but i'm still an ambassador so you can still depend on my info and today no gatekeeping i'm giving you stuffs i'm giving you infos so i have my list here and it's because i don't have a retentive memory sorry so what am i talking about today this video is about finding a job as an international student in the uk either you just coming in or you just got in or you've been in for a while and you've not been able to secure a job so let's dive into it so uh, as an international student in the uk you are restricted to 20 hours which means you can't do more than 20 hours of job per week this is a very tight something this is one of the major stuff that limits finding a job as a student so it means if you're probably looking for a very tailored narrow job it might be a bit more difficult for you another thing you should be concerned about is where you're going to study there are better jobs in some areas than the other there are places that you can't really find a job at all so you need to like travel to another place so by the time you're checking for jobs if you can't really find so much in your area just make sure you're widening your job search to like neighboring cities neighboring places you can reach out to the first thing i wrote down is your skills so you can find a job through the skills you already have for me i already do fashion designing so i started as a sewing machinist i got a sewing machinist job and all these jobs we find it difficult to get because most of these jobs are full-time jobs let's say you have a skill you can make nails you can do hair you can sew you can do graphics design and you have other skills like um it skill data um you can you can use ms words you know all those data entry skills it is something that you can try to look into if you can get a 20 hour job and also you need to know that if you're able to get a part-time job it may not really be 20 hours some jobs might just be like 12 hours weekly some part-time jobs are like 24 hours weekly so those type of jobs are that i just feel there are jobs that they don't want students because what really the difference between 20 hours and 24 hours so you're just increasing by like four hours just to make sure you don't really want student or something so that's the thing so if you have skills you can look into getting part-time jobs within the skills let's move on to the easy jobs to find the most common jobs are always the care support warehouse operative jobs which are always in high demand but there are also a lot more jobs and i wrote everything down and i'll be reading them out so hand them down somewhere and try to check out these jobs one by one also stay tuned till the end of this video i have a bonus tip a bonus info yeah <laughs> So if you've watched this far, kindly subscribe, click on the notification bell so you know once I release a new video and kindly comment, share, like. This will show YouTube that, okay, people are interested in this girl's video, so let's push it out more and this will reach more people that are in need of this information, just like you. Thank you. Let's move forward. So the easy jobs to find and these are jobs you can easily see part-time so we have customer assistance jobs these are like the retail area customer service advisor so this customer service advisor there is the on-site where you reach out to customers and you welcome them you give them info about the products you know it's basically a customer service role and there are the ones which you just do via calling you know like if you're a nigerian like the mtn 
glow customer service stuffs that we call when when we have an issue and they pick up yeah stuff like that so we have the sales assistants we have the receptionists the sales assistants you just help to take orders for customers in the stores so we have the sales assistants we have the receptionists we have a tutor if you have passion for a particular subject or you're good with math art stuffs creative stuffs you can actually be a private tutor so we have the tutor the teaching assistant the housekeeper the cleaner the child minder the babysitter the child minder and the babysitter you just stay with a child so there is the nanny also which is like a certified certified one but the babysitter is you just staying with a child and making sure they're okay and you get paid for it yeah, so we have a content manager if you are someone with a good social media this thing we have a social media page like um, instagram and all and you create content on instagram on youtube or any or any platform and you know how to work with it well so i feel a lot of people knows how to run social media create content and all you can start working as a content manager it's also a social media manager and video editor we have a lot of people that kind of know how to do little little editing so it can be a social manager video editor you be editing basic videos probably for social media youtube vlogs a lot of stuff like that and you can just make use of phone apps like in short and all other easy to use phone app we also have content writer if you know how to write well or you're interested in it you feel you're good with writing you should be able to get a part-time content writing job also a kitchen assistant retail assistant which is kind of in relation to the customer assistant the retail role so i've listed a lot of jobs here so you just need to like check which one do you think you can get around your area and if you're in an area where it's really difficult for you to find a job out of these jobs i've listed there are some you can get as a remote job like the customer service advice so content manager video editing stuff like that you, you should be able to get as a remote job also so another way you can find a job is work with your university most of these universities have job openings for students like ambassador admin roles there are a lot a lot you can do as a student with your university so all you have to do is to just go to students jobs jobs careers on your university page or you reach out to the university directly maybe you have yeah you definitely universities would have global lounge or you know somewhere you can reach out to request for more information about job availabilities for students in the university that is a bit more certain I, I didn't work with my university but i have a lot of mates that worked with university and i know some people had difficulty working and they kind of reached out to the university and they got the job so i'm just talking based on my experience and my friends colleagues experience so it really depends on your university but i'm sure universities should provide little little student jobs and university jobs are manageable so everything will be around your school schedule so it's it's pretty flexible also next on the list is how to find the jobs how do you find jobs there are websites you can use to find jobs and you can really find these jobs directly you can find jobs directly on google just type customer service advisor jobs near me on google and it will bring out loads of customer service advisor jobs near your area it's been working for me and also you can just type agencies so there are some jobs that you may not really see listed so they go through agencies so you can get jobs through agencies and you can just type on google recruitment agencies around me and google will bring out a lot of recruitment agencies near you so this is a bit more of hands-on work 
you'll need to call all these agencies one by one because each agency has different job roles they recruit for so you may not really need to call some if it's stated on the page if the type of jobs they're recruiting for is stated so you may not really need to call them so in that way you can kind of find out what type of job they're recruiting for but they may not really put all the type of jobs they're recruiting for so you just know some recruit for menial jobs some recruit for um, corporate very professional jobs so if your type of job is kind of relating to what they're recruiting for then you can just give them a call so you get response from some of them and then so when you get response from these agencies then if the type of job you're looking for is available they'll let you know and if it's not available they'll get your details down and when they have a job like that they'll they'll send you um, a message so sometimes like when i used to look for jobs then it's after i've already gotten job like these people were really sending me jobs like i beg i know they do <laughs> so and we have job apps like indeed um we have read we have total jobs we we have a lot of um job sites so you can really get a lot of job sites by just typing different job sites on google and it will bring out loads of job sites for you also so you just pick the most common ones and they are basically the ones i've mentioned we have cv library yeah those are we also have the city council this uk you're living on info so you need to talk you need to speak to people if someone don't know how to do it reach out to someone else go to city centers um you definitely find the city council and even check your google google will show you city council location so you so city councils are always doing job fairs Th yeah different types of jobs so you just need to go there and check out the job fairs that are available and reach out there are always care jobs support jobs retail jobs corporate small professional jobs construction works engineering jobs tech jobs different jobs it is not only menial jobs why am i saying menial jobs all these jobs are professional jobs i'm sorry but what is the what is even the meaning of menial job self <laughs> i beg my brain so different jobs are always available and try to go for job fairs they organize job fairs and also just make sure you're getting the info because you might be saying there is no job or see there might be jobs but you're lacking info that's the thing it is not that there is no job like that so just try to reach out to people <laughs> so what next Let's talk about how to do your cv because this thing is another stage entirely you might be seeing jobs you're applying for jobs and the only thing you're chopping is unfortunately <laughs> this is another another mental struggle on its own so it really depends on how you're making your cv so make sure your cv is straightforward and concise make sure there is no too much talk make sure it, it shouldn't be more than two pages at most your professional summary should be straightforward list out your experience your skills then followed by your certification it really depends on the type of job you're looking for but clear every job is looking for the the experience is very important it also while writing your experience it's best to just remove location because you really don't know who is checking your cv the type of person they are and even if the person don't really mean anything and your location is just the, i don't know it's just better to remove your location unless they ask about where 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 did you get this uh, skills also there are some jobs that you might be thinking of doing like you've never really done before so you can put um, transferable skills just make sure you're writing it as an organization put the organization name 
and write the skills that you've done that is relating to this job just make sure you're adding enough i'm not saying you should lie so fine-tune your job description experience according to the role you're applying for so let's say you you're applying for a customer service retail role and you probably have like a customer service experience but in another field that is probably not really relating to retail or customer service but you've had that customer service experience at the point talking to customer or replying customers just make sure the job description should tailor to the role that is really important that might be one of the reason why you are probably not getting a positive feedback okay what's next yeah simple no more than two pages remove your home address so let's say you're applying for a job in a different city just make sure you remove your home address because it's like you so let's say you you need to take like two buses there it's to the to the people checking your cv they'll be like it's very inconvenient and they'll rather go for someone else rather than you and you that you're really desperate for this you know that you can't really get there you don't really mind you can't get there you will get there who are you to tell me whether i'll be able to get there or not even as much as you've checked your, your map and it shows you how you're going to get there and you really feel like you can get there so make sure you remove your address because some people they won't even try to reach out to you and ask you how do you think you will be coming down to the office as in that's into the pain and the tip the notes i want to give you if you're just starting you're still a student as you're looking for a quick job make sure you're applying for your professional role so if that is what you want if you're looking to move forward progress in your career or whatever career a corporate career or a more professional career if you want to progress in that line so make sure you're applying for the roles as soon as possible so don't say you still have 12 months left and you need to finish up because you may not really be getting the jobs actually but you're not losing out so the reason why i say you're not losing out is all these professional jobs are kind of a bit more difficult to get and considering you're coming from a different place down here the process is different so you need to learn the more unfortunately message you receive the more you try to know what you're doing wrong what am i doing wrong or the more you try to retail your cv or remake your cv in another way and you you know try and error so it's like you're experimenting what you're in school and you're learning and you might even be able to get some roles and as you're applying be applying for graduate roles internships i don't know the type of really depends so it is not a one rule fits all so be applying you can get summer internships you can get in you can get flexible internships that can book you on part-time you will be able to go for the job while still schooling and even if you're unable to get anything you're still learning so by the time you you're doing that for like six to 12 months you must have kind of know where you're going what you need to look for what your where you're likely getting a positive response and maybe you've already reached some stages in the interview and you dropped out in some stages see you're learning stage by stage the first stage it's something entirely different on its own the next stage is entirely different so by the time you're going for this interview, you gain more confidence. You're learning how to answer those questions, interviews, what they want, what they don't want. The person you're talking to, what's their body language? Because since you're coming from a different place, their body language is different here. You'll just see those people smiling. <laughs> you think they're feeling you, but come <laughs> on, you're a gunner. So you learn a lot and so there is a 10,000 black intern it is a program for black students in the uk and it is a way for you to secure 
paid internships in your line so this is an organization they help our students they just started a few years like two or three years ago or two years ago this should be like their second or third time they help students to get internships so they already have links to organizations within different fields and you just sign up for the 10,000 intern program and they they check your cv and they kind of push you to an organization that kind of fits your role it may not be specifically tailored but it's still within your field so it's like you're boycotting a lot of a lot of long process and um, i know a lot of colleagues that have gotten internships through the 10,000 internship so it starts around is it november december it starts around december to january so for this year it will start around december 2024 so just watch out join their linkedin page join their page set up your linkedin yeah linkedin is one of the main job sites that i didn't mention if you're looking for a very professional job set up your linkedin page if you don't have one try linking up with recruiters um put your cv try getting jobs applying for jobs on linkedin and just make sure you're serious with the linkedin yeah so that's the end of the video today guys um watch out for the next video this is 2024 we're trying to be serious with this youtube so we're trying to release videos once um a week hey man so expect another video next week hopefully <laughs> so thank you for watching this far so i don't like ending my videos okay see you next time peace out bye love you